How's it going out there? Back again with another tutorial video. Today I want to show you how to secure your iPad or how to set a lock code for it. Um, with the update of iOS 5, a lot of uh, new features have been added to help you further secure your iPad. So I just want to go over a couple of those uh, features today and basically help you to uh, be the most secure with your iPad and your information. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Find your settings icon, which looks like this. Now mine is down here, but yours could be anywhere on the screen. Go ahead and find it and uh, tap on it. And so we're in the settings. It says settings right here. Uh, you want to make sure that general is highlighted in blue. Uh, if it's not, go ahead and tap on general, and then it will be highlighted. For example, if you're on a different app or Wi-Fi or whatever, just go ahead and tap on general, and then you'll be, you should see this on the right side. You want to come down to where it says passcode lock, and you want to tap on it. And so we're in the passcode lock screen. The first thing you want to do is you want to click on turn on or turn passcode on. And then it will let you set uh, a passcode for your iPad so that basically you have to have the code in order to be able to get into it to see what's on it. Okay, So I'm going to set a simple one, 1111, and it asks you to put it in twice to make sure you remember it. If you can't get it twice, you know, then that wouldn't be good. So now our passcode is set. And so I'm going to go over a couple of things that are on the screen right now. So if you need to change your passcode it's right here we can go ahead and click on change now in order to change it you have to be able to put in the code that is on there right now before you can change it so make sure you write that down somewhere so you don't forget it um, the next thing this is a cool feature that was just added with iOS 5 um, you can basically set when the iPad will require a passcode so I have mine set for after 15 minutes so if my iPad goes to sleep it has to be sleep for 15 minutes before it'll actually require me to put in my passcode to get back in. And this is convenient if you know if you use your iPad a lot. Um, for me, I, it's annoying if it goes to sleep and I have to keep putting the password in over and over again to get back in. So I always set it for 15 minutes just so I don't have to take you know so long. Or I don't have to keep basically putting the passcode back in again to. Uh, get in so you can actually set it anywhere from one minute all the way to four hours so this just again it, your pat your iPad will still be secure and it'll still have the passcode it just won't immediately ask for a passcode as soon as it goes to sleep okay so again mine's on 15 but you can set yours to an hour four hours and basically it would have to go past one hour before it would actually require you to put in a passcode to get back in okay so let's go back here. Uh, this is another new feature that was added. Um, right now I have the simple passcode turned on. And what a simple passcode is, it just requires numbers. It's just a four-digit number password. Now, if you have really important information on your iPad and you really, you know, wouldn't want that information to get in the wrong hands if your iPad was stolen, I would turn off passcode. I would turn off simple passcode because now... So we have to go ahead and put in our code again in order to do this. So I'll put in my code, 1111. Now you actually have your full keyboard that comes up. So the passcode is not going to be just a four-digit number. It can be an actual phrase, a sentence. You can actually turn on caps. That's always even more secure. So if your iPad was to fall in the wrong hands, they would have a lot basically a harder time trying to get into the iPad because now you have a complex uh, passcode set on yours so let's say if I said something like I don't know donuts donuts 45 okay to put it in twice donuts 45 and so now I have a basically a complex password set so if somebody gets my iPad they have to figure out that hey my phrase is donuts 45 and I have a cat I have the D capitalized so it just uh, raises the security on your iPad and gives you a little bit more protection. Now, to give you the most protection, what you want to do, and this is kind of, you accept this at your own discretion, but you can set the iPad so um, if the wrong passcode is entered 10 times, it'll automatically erase all the data on the iPad. Okay, so if you have important work files on there, top secret stuff, or 
basically things that no one else should be seeing and you really want to make sure your information is totally 100% secure I would turn on erase data and it actually gives you a warning it says all data on this iPad will be erased after 10 failed passcode attempts so it's serious so if the wrong person was to get your iPad and they can't put in the code within 10 times guess what it'll erase everything from notes emails whatever's on there it'll basically wipe it and make it like it's brand new so um, that's the way to um, have the most security on your iPad I don't turn on my on my iPad personally because my little brother uses mine and uh, he's not smart enough to know well if I keep putting the passcode in and keep getting it wrong something might happen so if you let your kids use your iPad I wouldn't recommend to turn this feature on because if your kids keep playing around and keep putting the wrong code in guess what your information is gone okay so um, use this at your own discretion but this is basically how you um, you know secure your iPad to the fullest okay I want to show you one more thing we're gonna go to general and it'll take us back to the the main screen here you can set a couple more things here um, passcode lock is on um, auto lock this is a little bit different but you can basically set uh, how long your iPad will sit on before it goes to sleep and I have mine set for five minutes but you can go 10 minutes 15 or never so your iPad will literally just sit on until you turn it off okay so the very last thing I want to show you is I'm gonna turn the iPad off or I'm gonna put it to sleep basically I'm gonna hit the the little uh, button on the side right here you know like the sleep button at the top so it's to sleep now watch this I turn it back on and guess what it's not asking me for a passcode why because I have it set so that it will not ask for a passcode until uh, it's been asleep for uh, 15 minutes okay so quickly I'm gonna change it I wanna go to passcode lock to put in donuts 45 it lets me in I'm gonna change it really quick to immediately and this is basically saying that hey if my iPad goes to sleep as soon as you try to turn it back on it's gonna ask for a code I just wanna show you um, how um, how sensitive it is when you have to put that code in um, so I'm gonna turn it off again or put it to sleep it's back on so as soon as I slide slide to unlock um, it's now asking me for a passcode okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my um, uh, donuts 45 but watch this I'm not gonna put the capital letter in there donuts 45 and look at that it doesn't take it because it has to be exactly the way you entered it so if you put a capital in there it has to have a capital or it will not let you in so there it is I put the capital and now I'm back in so this is how you secure uh, your iPad is by setting a, a good uh, password and again if you have important files on there that, that if they got in the wrong hands you get in a lot of trouble I would say hey make sure to set that uh, erase uh, after 10 minutes uh, thing be, or after 10 tries because if not then those files could definitely fall in the wrong hands and uh, that wouldn't be good so hope that was helpful make sure you leave some feedback follow me on twitter h2 tech videos and have a good one